Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet. Although it is getting rather cold again so socks is a great option. Please do remember to layer up as we get warmer. And today we will be using for an extra prop just one small hand weight. So it doesn't have to be an official hand weight, it could be a bottle of water or a tin of beans. Other vegetables are available, um, but just something with a little bit of weight for some resistance. And don't worry if you don't have anything to hand, you can still do the exercises and the arm movements completely the same. So we will be starting away from our bar. So whatever you have as a bar, chair, table, mantelpiece, wall, whatever you've got, um, move away from it or move it away from you. And we will start in the centre with a little bit of movement just to get going, get warmed up. So we are going to be taking the feet a little bit further apart than our normal second that we would use for a plie as we're going to take a little bit of transfer of weight and we'll swing across. So just a small rotation through the stern and let the arms swing. And it's really free, just spongy knees transferring between the feet. And we start to make that a little higher if that's comfortable. Maybe it's more of a sweep of one arm and I'll fold. Then it starts to get a little higher again. So it's more of a high diagonal now, depending on the space that you've got. And then maybe it becomes more of a side bend, more of a sort of wafty feeling, up and over, reaching for the space above the head. We're going to change it up again. We're going to take it into an arm circle going back. It's more of a pallet now through the foot. And there's a little bit of knee into the side of the body, into the arm. We're going to make that arm a little bit smaller. It's going to become more of an elbow, swiping up and over. We're going to make that smaller again, down into just a shoulder, keeping that pad through the foot. Maybe it becomes a little more spring, more dynamic now. Let's take it the other way, shoulder rolling forward. Deepening the breathing into the side and back of the lungs. Exhaling through the mouth, start to take it more into the elbow, rolling up and over. Maybe it becomes more of a swim action, swimming through. And then again, we're going to take it into a forearm, as high an arm as you've got space for. And then we're going to reach both arms up to the sky. And we're going to take a big sweep around. We'll bend the knees, reach it up, breathe it in, press away. One more time, pressing the air away from you with spongy bend, lengthening up, we're just going to look over one shoulder and the other, and you can step the feet back in underneath the stillis, back into line with the hip bones, smoothing out the breath once again, we're going to take the head up and up and down, lengthening the back of the neck, both directions, so you're still facing the whole back of the neck as you lift the chin, we're going to go one more, and then on our last one, we're actually going to cut it in half, so just in half, and then the down is going to pour us over the legs, so pouring the weight forward, bending the knees as you go, place the hands down into the floor, have a little wiggle, maybe a little bend, and a bend, so I've still sort got of two bent knees, but I'm just allowing one to bend more than the other, and then I'm going to swim, one arm up and over, two bent knees, one hand down, same on the other side, make four movements through the arms, Rotating through the sternum. One more on the other side. Have a little hang. Let the head be loose. Let the neck be loose. Have a little butt wiggle. We're going to bend the knees and arms roll through the spine, lengthening through the legs. And we're going to bring ourselves over to our bar. Or your bar to you. Taking a moment just to find a first position. And you might want to do a few little swivels on the balls of the feet in and out of that parallel to the outside of the hip like we would use for a squat and the first position heels drawing together and they don't have to be actually touching I've always got a little tiny space between my heels to allow for the shape of the calf a little tiny space there just helps to find that length through two legs we're going to take a tondu exercise facing towards the bar we're going to point the foot and circle the ankle three times and then we're going to close it in to open it out again, back to that point, and close. Same thing to the side, circling inwards three times with the ankle. And close it down and unfold, little knee, double peg, and to the back. So it comes out of the right, three circles, and then coming round and back, 
to the point, just take it to a tondu, there we go, and three circles inwards. It's getting so focused on that level play. And the folding to a point. We do the same thing on the other leg. So we point, we three circles round. We close to open again, staying lengthened on that supporting leg. Same to the side, circling inwards through the ankle. Smoothing out through the breath. Unfolding, point of the toe to the back. Out. Three circles outwards, staying long on that supporting side. Closing in to open out again to the toe. One more to the side. Come out. Close in. And two. And three. Close it in to out. Opening out to a point. Closing back to a first. We'll take a little bend of the knees. We're going to take a tondra in all four directions with an inward rotation. Turning in. Turning out. To a close. Take it to the side. Just an in. Just an out. Take it to the back. Staying along the two sides of the body. TBA wrapping around the waist. One more to the side, and then the whole thing on the other leg. So we've got front, turn in, turn up, two up close, take it to the side. Long spine, long S-shaped spine. So nothing flattening, just lengthening in that natural curve. Turn out, re-close, take a little bend of the knees. Coming back into a parallel. Now this one is either completely closed together, or just a little tiny space if you need it for a bit of balance. But be aware we're going to be moving from this parallel into a first position. So if it's too far out, you won't be able to just swivel the heel. You'll need to actively move it, which is not a problem at all. Just shift yourself into that first. But we will start from a little parallel or completely together parallel uh, position. And we're going to take some bends and stretches through the legs. So we're going to take a little plie. It goes down and up. And you'll realize you can't go very far, particularly if the legs are completely together. We're a little bit reduced in our range of motion. Sorry, I'm not throwing jump on the floor. And lengthening up again, lifting through the top of the head. So we're going to add a little bounce. So we're going to go from down and back and up. And if it's feeling really uncomfortable in the hips, just take that a little bit further apart. So you've got that more stable base and a little bit more freedom in the hip socket, in the knees. But it's only going as far as to keep the heels down on the floor. We're going to add in a rotation into that first. So we're just going to turn to first, turn it back and lengthen. So again, if your heels are slightly apart, you'll need to shift that leg a little bit to come into your first and lengthen. We're going to add on again. We're going to add in a slide to a second. So we go down for two, rotate, go slide, come back. It's nice and spongy. Then we're going to do a little bend and stretch, heels up, down. So it's just a little roll through the feet. Take it out, take it in, close it back, and we lengthen, and we bend, and we stretch, and we rise to lower on a five, a six, a five, six. Here we go again. We bend, we plie, we open, we close, close again to stretch, bend the heels, lift, and rise lower to down to open to slide come back return and lengthen little roll through the feet once more each way rotate slide out try and get right in the center every time in the middle between two legs so we've got right down the middle right down the middle shift the pelvis shift the pelvis coming back and lengthen we bend we heels we rise we stay there the inside thighs closing together glutes wrapping around so you can take a little moment just to test the balance nice and open through the collarbones we're going to replace replace and come down let's take a little pad through the feet we're going to be coming into an exercise that involves our hand weight so with or without the hammer we'll take a little bit of a roll through the wrists pad through the feet we'll take the wrist back the other way and take a little bit of a shoulder roll. We're going to be side onto the bar for this one. And you'll be using the weight in your furthest hand. So the hand furthest from the bar, and we'll be using the same leg. So grabbing hold of, actually, let's hold on to the hand weight for a second. So the coordination of this one is a little tricky. So the leg is nice and easy. It's going to open, and then it's just going to hold there for another count. And another one. That's the last one then it's going to place down and then it's going to close. So it's quite an extended amount of time where you're just standing on one leg, obviously holding the bar, 
on the arm is doing some movements at the same time and then goes down and then we close back together same thing to the back and once more to the side at the same time we're bringing the arm forward first and we'll be holding the weight for just a bit and then when it goes to the front it's going to come to this cactus position we're going to take a little fly in and out when it goes to the side the first time it's going to open out to the side and we'll take a bicep curl when it goes to the back, it's the same as it was to the front, for the fly. And when it goes to the second, the second time, second, second, it's going to come back to that same place so we can take an overhead press. So you've got four different places, three of them being the same. The first time you go to the second, <laughs> it's out to the side. Don't worry, if it comes to here, you can just quickly adjust. There's time the music is quite smooth. The option one is to have the leg floating just a little bit away from the floor. So the legete height or lower, maybe a glisse. Or option two is to place the foot down. Or option three is to not use the leg, is to just use the arm movements from the first position. So however is best for you, however you would like to attack this exercise, let's give it a go. So taking up your one hand weight, we've got that fly to the front to begin. So we're long on both sides, we're gonna unfold the leg. Here we go, it comes to the ankle and out. There's our cactus position. And so we close the arm in and out two times. And it's gonna come down as the foot comes down, and we're gonna close. This time it's gonna go out to the side and the side, both arm and leg, closing in bicep curl. Staying long over the supporting leg. We're gonna place the hand and the foot down and close. Same thing to the back, comes to that cactus position. So we're going to close in and out through the elbow. Try and stay long in the back of the neck. Place the foot down and close the arm. One more time to the side, opening away. This one's from here. It's going to be an overhead press. I had to think about it then. I told you it was tricky. Lengthening up on both sides of the body, opening away, replacing down. Let's switch it to the other side. And if we love it, we can do it all over again. So long spine. We're going to unfold the arm and the leg together. Here we go. On a five, six, seven, eight, unfold. Cactus on, closes in, opens out, closes in. One long spine, place the foot, take it down. Same thing to the side, we open out to bicep curl in. Try and keep that upper arm lifted, elbow pointing away from you, replace. Come down to the back with that little fly action. So from your cactus, closing the elbow in towards you. Still breathing into the sides and back of the ribs. And replace the arm, the leg last one to the side, same cactus. So that we can overhead press and bring it back. Overhead press, bring it back. Take the leg down, take the arm down. Good stuff. Did we love it? Let's do it again. If you didn't love it, Let's do it again anyway, it's good for us. Uh, if you feel comfortable to do so, take the legs slightly higher. It's not a 90 degrees yet, it's sort of somewhere between 45 and 90. Pick your poison there. Let's take that again, here we go. So we're thinking of that curve of the arm as we come up through a first position and then opening up into that cactus. Here we go, on seven, eight, unfold. Take it to the cactus, close in. Close out, close out, close out. We place the foot down. We close everything back to the first. This one's opening out, second and second. Coming in, coming out, coming in. Opening away, take it down, take it down again. Take it to the back. Thinking level pelvis. Oh, I've got a lot of room there. And we're thinking length through the top of the head, through the tops of the ears. Closing down last time to the side, back to the cactus, and open overhead press. Staying lengthened over that single supporting leg. Take it down in the arm and the leg, and we take it down. Switch to the other side. So coming back into our first position, maintaining turnout on that supporting leg the whole time. Here we go. On a five, six, to the front goes first, goes to cactus, close it in. And think parallel arm, parallel straight up, straight down. Take the hand and the leg down, take it down to the second. This one opens up, bicep curl. Elbow pointing away from you, two level shoulders. Take it down, take it down, take it to the back, up, back to cactus. Think about a long leg reaching away from you rather than a high leg. 
taking space with your positions. Last time to the side first, cactus once again. Take it up and open. Glutes wrapping like crazy underneath. Open away, replace the hand and foot. Replace the weight. Take a little moment just to find some inward and outward rotation in the leg. A little bit of adduction and more rotation, opening away. Same thing on the other side, just gently shift across, rotating. You might feel a little bit of a stretch into the glutes as well, up into the back of the leg and higher as we take that rotation. And then we're going to place it down, come into a parallel, step it back a little bit, take a little cat stretch. So we're going to curve the tailbone down, lift the middle back, and then we're going to lengthen the tailbone back rather than up, think back and the top of the head forwards. So you're exhaling, inhaling, and you can take that pressure down on the bar. One more time, curve the way. Breathing in, open and wide across the chest, and closing in, unfolding through the body, through the legs, coming back into your bar. We're going to take it into a fondue exercise. Take just a little more space for this one. So this exercise, we did a couple of sessions ago, but we're going to add on a little bit more today. Um, all we've already had, just, just change up the pattern of it. So I'm going to take that outside hand uh, to the hip. Fondue has that melting action on two legs melting and then extending away and it's going to have a little tap and a raise so it's going to melt on two legs and open and tap and raise as it comes to the back we're going to hook the foot behind uh, not hook the foot but place the foot behind lengthen it back touch down touch up and then sorry after three we're going to brush two three four times same thing happens again and it's a low leg in the first one it's no higher than that leg that we just used same thing again to the front tap down and brush two three four all on one side uh, then we're going to switch it over to the other side do the same thing again we're going to come back to the first side maybe a little higher now maybe to a 90 degrees with that tap so it can come a little higher on the shin as well could still be 45 to the back and then it's just two slow brushes the second time with control and in and out so cat and goes front side back brush 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 Back side front, brush, 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 brush. Same with the other side. Then, with a slightly higher leg, front side back, two slower brushes. Back side front, two slower brushes. If it's not clear, have a look at the first set, and then jump back in, skip it back, and see how it goes. Uh, so, I'm actually going to do this side onto the bar just because it's a little easier. Sorry, side onto the camera. So, it's a little easier to see, and I've got more space behind as well. I'm using the outside leg. And it starts with a fondue to the front, so we pick it up and place it ankle. Not too high on the first round. Take it in, take it out, place it down. This one's going to have the four slightly faster brushes. Here they go, brushing through, and two, and three, and four, and take it back. So you want equal turnout on both legs, both knees aiming out to the side. Or as much side as you've got on the block, how much turnout? So I'm just using what I have. Two, three, four. Take it round to the other side. In to out, touch it down. Come up, in to out and down. Same to the back. Touching down, four brushes go to four. A three, through first. Every time it comes in to out, lengthen down. Comes in to out, lengthen down. Comes in. So out, leg and down, four brushes, goes four, and two, and one, moving down, move back around. So, second time, option to take the leg a little higher, if it's comfortable, perhaps to a 90 degrees. Does not have to be 90 to the back, and lower again, uh, to allow for minimal movement through the pelvis. Here we go. Touching to the leg, take it out, pressing down, pressing up, out to the side, only as high as you can maintain, a nice strong core and length through the torso. Smooth brush, smooth brush. Take it in, kick the table, touch it down and up and take it in. Kick the furniture, maybe don't kick the furniture. Take it in, brushing down, two slow brushes to the table, taking it back, turning round one more time. In, turn out, place down, lift, come in, 
nice and strong through two sides of the body. Flexibility is only useful if it's coming from a really strong, sustained core. Otherwise, it's kind of useless, really. It's not going to do us any favours in the long run to just rely on flexibility with nothing behind it. So better a lower leg with a strong torso. We can replace that one. Take a little bend. Take a little pan around. Take a little wiggle around. Shifty, shifty. We're going to be moving away from our bar. We're moving our bar away from us. We're going to take this old friend back again. Remember, if you don't have one of these, absolutely fine. So we're going to be coming into the centre, away from our bar. Now we're going to be coming into the squat position. So we're thinking about that squat, that angle of the body and the legs, the shins, sorry. Body and the shins coming to that same angle. Just holding the weight slightly in front. Let's take a few of these with this piece of music before we move on to the exercise. So thinking of TVA wrapping around the waist. Long spine. Should count how many times I say long spine in one video. But it's true, we don't want to we don't want to sink into anything. We want to always be growing, sit bones and head growing in opposite directions. Right, so the exercise that we're going to take, holding the weight in the same place. The weight's just adding resistance. You can pop it down for a second to just see what the exercise is. We did this a little while ago as well. I think we did it with a band. So no band today. Hand weight. We're going to be coming into one leg. We're going to tap the floor in the place. Tap the floor to the back and to the side. So the same pattern that we always use. That little four position. Well, it's three really. And then repeat the one to the side. We can do it three times. And we'll just take a couple of squats in the middle to change over to the other side. That is part one. We'll come back to part two. So we go down the two, shift across, find the balance. So we've got tap, replace, and tap, replace. And I'm just trying to stay nice and still through the body. Minimal shifting, trying to keep this knee open rather than closing over the big toe. Body slightly pitched forward, just like our normal squat. That's our last one. So we're going to take it out, place it down. A few little squats just to ease out. Here we go. Come to the second side. Woohoo! And in. Take it out. And in. Thinking about your pelvic floor muscle. Gently lifting internally. Second side. Second round, sorry. Lengthening back. Third round. See so if you can get a little deeper on that supporting leg. TVA wrapping. Side once again. Place the foot. Lengthen the legs. Let's take a couple of squats. We're going to do it one more time. Shift across. Here we go. Check in with the shoulders. Are they still level? Are they tensing? Or are they still in a neutral position? Is the breath still coming into the side and back of the lungs? And you can see that my gaze has dropped slightly in order to accommodate a long back of the neck in this slightly pitched position. That's our last one. So it's going to come back to the side. We're going to lengthen the legs, cut the squats up and down, and then we're going to stay down, shift across. Last time, one. And in to the side. Check the elbows. I was getting slightly tense through the elbows there. Think sloping arms. Is your TVA still gently wrapping? Are your obliques working to help stabilize you, not to side bend? Oh, and this is our third round. Three squats on the end to finish. Closing, go down, come up, that's it, two, that's your last one, and place the weight down for a second. Take a moment. So this next one, part two, uh, I'm moving this again just so it's a little easier for you to see. You're going to be side on to your bar, so we move back to the bar. We're going to be taking movements with the inside leg. We usually use the leg first away from the bar, but for this one we're going to hold the hand weight in the hand first, and we want to be in that position to the working leg. So it's not going to go over towards the bar, it's going to have its own track. It's going to unfold to a developé. Could be 90, could be lower, whatever is good for you. It's going to refold, and it's going to come to an attitude with a pitch of the body, and I've allowed my underneath leg to bend. Then I lengthen the underneath leg to come back again. That might be it for you. Four of those on one side, then we'll do the other side. Alternatively, you've got the hand weight and you're also using that 
that, so it presses down as the leg comes to attitude, and it comes forward as the leg comes forward. It just promises through the jazz first. So forward in line with the shoulder socket, and then down in line with your pitch. So think almost sort of a squat angle, and then the arm pressing forward. So really it would be shoulder height. I just happen to have tilted my body. So try not to let it fall down. So let's give that a go. So we have our inside working leg and our hand weight. So we're gonna unfold the leg. Unfold, bring it in. We're gonna take it down and back to an attitude. And in. Bending that underneath leg as much as is appropriate to you. I suggest some level of bend as opposed to a straight leg. So we're protecting the hamstring, but focusing in on the glute. Bending now. Coming up, two level hip bones. Two level hip bones forward, level hip bones here, level hip bones here. Don't let that working leg fly up. We're going to switch sides. Switch around. So coming back into our first, unfolding the arm and the leg together. To the front. Here we go. Take it in. Take it back. We will bend through that supporting leg. And we've got turn out again on both legs. Supporting leg and underneath leg. Oh, I've run out of music, I've talked too much. Coming back in, that's not the one I want. That's the last exercise. We've got two more of these. It's quite difficult to try and move in your own timing, not against, uh, not with the music even. Last one, standing up straight over that supporting leg, driving that weight down, drawing back in, and then coming away. We're gonna replace the weight and replace the foot. And we are done with that one. We're gonna come back to that in a second. Let's come down for this music. So we are moving away from the bar. And we are coming down to the floor. So taking yourself down comfortably. We're going to take a little ab prep first of all. So rolling back into the floor. Let's go back. Let's have the previous one. This one's a little pumpy before we're going to start with. Here we go. Rolling down into the floor. We're going to place the hands behind the head. We're going to find a long neutral spine. So I think hip bones not tipping back or pressing forward. Somewhere in the middle roughly level with the pubic bone, elbows visible. We're going to breathe in and nod the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. Exhale, flex the heavy shoulder blades away from the floor. Inhale, stay. Exhale, come down. So we've got the nod. And flex. We've got stay. And we've got return. Breathing pattern goes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing into hold. Breathing out. So you've really got to think sides and back of the ribs as you find that flexion. Sides and back of the ribs opening to let the air in and releasing down. We'll take the same thing in a tabletop position. A little mini imprint of the spine. That's that mini contraction between ribs and hip. Legs coming up into their tabletop. Other than that, it's the same. Wrapping the glutes around underneath. Try not to overly curve the spine here. Keep it imprinted with just the upper body flexion. So it's head and shoulder blades curling up, lower body staying still in its slight curve. Two more. Breathe in, long back of the neck. Curling through. Inhale to stay. Exhale to come down. Last one. Smooth inhale. And releasing down. Release one leg, two legs back into the floor for a second. We're going to pick up our hand weight. And we're going to be coming into the hundred. We're going to take the idea of the hundred from Pilates, uh, but we're going to do sort of the rule of the hundred because <laughs> we're going to be pulsing every uh, eight counts. So we're going to do eight counts with the palms facing down, and then we're going to pulse eight counts with the palms facing upwards. So we're going to do it in eights rather than in fives. Uh, and so, hand weight, imprint position, legs table top. You have the option to just pop your hand weight onto your shins for a little bit more resistance. You have the option to flex up from the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Here we go. Pulsing our arms. Two, three, four, it's five, six. Flip the palms to five, six, seven, eight, four, three, two, one. Counting is difficult when you're doing exercise, but don't worry, I'm fairly musical. Let's go again. Palms down. See if you can maintain that upper body flexion by using the upper abdominals. If it's getting too much, just place the head and shoulders back down on the floor. We're going to take a brief little pause here. Release head and shoulder blades, bring the knees in towards the chest, get rid of the weight. Have a very tiny little look side to side if you need it. So we're going to come back in again. You have the option to be sending a little weight to diagonal and coming back in. Four, three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one, as we go. So, 
glutes wrapping, inside thighs pressing together to begin, breathing into an opportunity, exhale to flex, reaching the arms, here we go, on a five, six, seven, go, pulse, two, three, four, and in, two, three, and then out, two, three, four, come in, flip the palms, go down, and ideally inhaling as the leg extends, exhaling as it comes back in, two, three, four, and exhale, and same again, one more each side, here we go, you've got eight, seven, six, she's learned to count by doing the hundred, here we go, head and shoulders down, bringing the legs into the chest, have a little roll side to side, aha, oh, release, as we're down here and there's still music, let's cross the ankles, let's bring them back into a tabletop position, palms facing down, little bit in front, and then we're going to Increase the curve in the lower body. So we're thinking the lower body contracting, pubic bone curling in towards you. Your sit bones are curling up as well. The back of your pelvis may or may not leave the floor. Cross the ankles the other way. So you can go in for four counts. In, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. So we're just maintaining and increasing and decreasing that contraction through the lower body. Last two on this side. Try and keep the chest open. Last one. And in. release the legs. Woohoo! Bring yourself to a seated position, dropping the feet into the floor. Slide the hands down the shins. Curve the spine over, elbows relax. Breathe into the side and back of the ribs. Exhaling away. One more breath in. We're going to open one knee and tuck the other leg. This is an optional seated position. You're aiming to get a level pelvis. That's absolutely not going to happen for you. Go to a cross leg instead. You might find it's slightly different side to side. You'll be able to see mine quite visibly different. Here, sort of two sit bones are down. And I'm going to come up and over into a side bend and open away. Breathing in. Breathing out, two more. Reaching up and over, soft hand, strong arm, strong sides of the body. I'm gonna switch it over to the other side. Shift the legs around. And you'll see on this side, it's a little more tricky. This leg comes up a little bit for me, but I'm just aiming to find the most uh, steady position. If my leg is too far out, you'll see this is never gonna go down, so we're really stuck here. So I've just closed the leg in to find a little bit more balance between the sides of the body. Alternatively, cross legs available as well. I'm going to take that side bend again, breathing in. Six, seven, we go, inhale. And we go, exhale. Fingertips reaching away. Two more. Think of that smooth curve coming from the base of the spine to the base of the skull. And opening away. We're going to open towards the feet. Press ourselves up and over into a little squat, little tiny crouched squat. We're going to come through a squat. So we're going to find our lengthened spine. Normally we unroll here, but we're going to find a lengthened neutral. We're going to press the heels down and just come into that squat position and then come all the way up to standing. Let's go down the same way. So let's come down into our squat. Keep going down. You'll need to lift the heels and shift the weight. And last time, coming back up again. Heels press down, squat position, lengthening the spine to stand. And we are done there for today. Thank you very much.